Hey Planewalkers, welcome to Does This Deck Work? Today we're playing a Boros Tempo deck shared by Swayze on YouTube. He's gone from Platinum to Diamond with this deck. That's exactly where I'm at. So let's see, does this deck really works? Here you can see the deck list as played by Swayze. Sadly, he hasn't shared any links to the deck to his original deck, so I've built it for you. You can look at it right here. You'll have a link in the description to see him playing this deck. But that's his version of the deck. As you can see, I need some wild cards to do that, so I have to make some modification on it. But you can see the main thing with this deck is going with the Stonebinder Familiar. So whenever you exile a, a card, you put a plus one, plus one on it and it triggers only once each turn and we have a lot of exiling effect so with spike field hazard if we kill something we exile a card part of all whole exile a card with mana value two or less reckless impulse exile two card from the top of our library borrowed time exile a non-land permanent brutal qatar exile a non-land creature a non-land creature exile target creature <laughs> Elite, spell, Elite Spellbinder, exile a card from our opponent hand. Skyclave Apparition, exile a card with mana value 4 or less. And Showdown of the Scald, exile card from the top of our deck. So everything is exiling card to boost up the Stonebind Familiar. We have a lot of removal with our creature. So um, that's what we're doing here trying to kill our opponent as fast as possible without getting anything in our way. But enough with that, let's see my version of the deck. Here we are. So in the one mana value, I've had all the card he's playing. In the two mana value, I only have two copies of Luminarch Aspirant, so I I've had one fleeting spirit, so that's a 3-1 for two. You may pay one white, exile three card from your graveyard, so that will trigger our Stonebinder familiars. And it gains first strike. And also we can discard a card, exile fleeting spirit, and return it to the battlefield under its owner control at the beginning of your next step. So that's another way to exile card and trigger our familiar. We also have one copy of Cemetery Gatekeeper, when it enters the battlefield, we, rem we exile a card from a graveyard. And whenever a player plays a, a card with the same card type as the card we have exiled, Cemetery Gatekeeper deal two damage to that player. So we exile a card once again. In the three mana slot, he's playing four copies of Brutal Qatar. I only have three. He's, copying f he's playing four copies of Elite Spidewinder. I only have three. And I only have two copies of Skyclave Apparition, and he's playing four. So to fill up for the Skyclave Apparition, I've put two Sigrid God of Favored. So when it enters the battlefield, it has Flash. It's a 2-2 creature with first strike protection from God creature. And when it enters the battlefield, we may exile target attacking or blocking creature until Sigrid leaves the battlefield. So that's another way to remove some spells from the battlefield. We have one copy of Chandra Dress to Kill, so we can 4 plus 1 add 1 red and deal 1 damage to target creature or planewalker. <coughs> Sorry. For another plus 1, we can exile the top card of our library, and if it's red, we may cast it this turn. So that's another way to exile. And we have an emblem. I haven't read it. <laughs> exile the top 5 card of your library. You may cast a red spell from among them. This turn you get an emblem with whenever you cast a red spell, this emblem deal X damage to any target where X is the amount of mana spent to cast this spell. So another ability that remove cards. We also have one demon bolt. Probably I should have two X and remove Chandra Dress to kill, but let's see that. So demon bolt, we can foretell the card so it's removed from the game. It's not removed from the game. It's in exile, <laughs> waiting to be cast. So that's another trigger. And in the four mana slot, he's playing four showdown. I only have one. I've replaced it with 
unexpected windfall three time that doesn't exile anything but that's an that's a way to draw some card showdown is there to draw some card we exile card from the top of our library and have four card that we can cast so that's a little bit of the same effect and in the mana base is playing for showdown for sundown pass and for pathway that i don't have so i fill in with some basic land he, don't, he doesn't play Dent of the Bugbear, but he plays two copy of Cave, of Cave of the Frostbite. So I thought I could fill in with that. That's pretty much it. As you know, I'm playing 10 game with this deck. Let's see if it gave us the win. So far, I've played four game without recording and I'm three and two. I've drawn Stonebinder Familiar in only one game. And the game I've played with it, I totally wrecked my opponent. I had three in hand, that was pretty crazy in the other games I've drawn zero from my first four games so just can't wait to see what what the stonebinder familiar can do for me so let's see this let's, let's see this in the next five games let's see does this deck really work okay so that's pretty bad <laughs> we got to mulligan two times let's see what we can get with those five cards so we have the gatekeeper on turn two, but don't know if our opponent will have any card in their graveyard. And we're playing first, that's even worse. Let's play a white. Our opponent has Milligan twice too. Valentine being okay. We can kill that. Playing a red source here. So we kill this right away. Oh, that's removed. Oops. I was hoping to get that with the cemetery gatekeeper. It's not gonna work. Telling the crazy panther. Okay. So let's play a familiar. Let's hope we can keep it one more turn. Playing against Jump. Oh my god. That hurts. <laughs> What's that? And we're mana screwed. We play a gatekeeper. Remove the fight kill hazard. Our dog is now 2 2, but that's not big enough. Start from our opponent. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't see how we can deal with that. Another familiar. No lands. Got wrecked pretty hard. You can still block, but at least their creature didn't get trampled. We're pretty much dead already. Night has come. Oh, we don't remove anything with that. That's bad. It's pretty bad. Welcome to Does This Deck Work? <laughs> okay, we can't see this game right now. We got wrecked pretty hard. All right, we kicked that hand. We got a good curve, I'd say. Let's see what we're up against. It's pretty good. Oop, I thought that was a snarl. So if you look at the, the untap the GG stats, you'll see 11 game played with this deck. I got a free one. 
Got a free victory. Nothing happens. I've just wait until I win. <laughs> I guess we play reckless impulse here to get a land for the next turn. Get more land than we want. So we take three. Brutal Qatar, take the red. I guess we'll remove the token. They are raiding the card. We're in the game, baby. What is next? What is next? Maybe Cemetery Gatekeeper is not that good in this deck since we remove everything from the battlefield. Werewolf back leader. Skyclave can take that unless they have. Skin Veil ready to go. We need to try it anyway. See what he got. There's a stick, so they probably can protect their werewolf. Yep. Oh, we can remove the ranger class. So that's it's not lost. Let's play this as a land. We won't have a lot of target with one, one toughness. A ranger class again. We let them go. Oh, they're fighting. Okay. So we'll take five, it's not great. Let's play another Brutal Qatar. We'll take the Werewolf. We don't attack and we wait. Let's see what they got. Oh, we need to hit more than that. What are they doing with their... Okay. We go for this? I think so. Let's remove the werewolf again. Now we can hit them. And we play Reckless Impulse. Next turn. What do we play on the next turn? Okay, land. Oh, we have one target for us. Pike feel hazard. I guess we play this. Sag the gatekeeper. Play the land. Why not? Play that again. Okay. Let's play portable hole. This one. Let's remove this one. And we can attack again. Next turn we can play Elite Spellbinder. Not a Ranger class. It's not 
Great. Let's see what he got. Another inscription. What do we play here? Oh. Oh. Do we attack? No attack. Mistake on my part. How do we kill that? I think we just wait. If they try to play the inscription, we'll kill at instant speed the werewolf, the wolf. Do they attack? Or do they cast something else? Oh, Blizzard Brawl. So let's kill that right away. Sweet. I'll attack. So we can play Chandra. And show down this call after that. This little candle's gonna set your world and on damage fire. Damage their face. Get one red. Give a toast. <laughs> I'd love to. What's next? Oh my god. We have a lot of removals ready to go. And they drew a land. Power up the ranger class again. Can we remove... Yes, we can remove a ranger class with that. First things first. Uh, steal them one damage. You're lucky this is a warning shot. One, two, three. Can power up the Elite Spell Binder. Remove the power up Ranger class. And let's go for Skyclave after that. Power up our home Skyclave. Remove the Ranger class. We're in good spot. <laughs> Damage left. What you get? You got a defeat. Perfect. We got mono green. That's great. And yep, another hand. No dog. No familiar. But we'll keep it. This hand look good. Will we face the mirror deck probably? Let's play this tap. Be sure we got we hit our third land. Worry. Reckless Impulse. We gotta land for our next turn. We lose the unexpected windfall, sadly. Cannot play much. Let's play another Reckless Impulse. And we play around Juari. Two more lands. Okay. Three lands now. What are we up against? Some kind of control deck, clearly. Let's take a white. Let's play Stonebinder Familiar. If we can. Yes, we can. Let's just end a turn on that. Did we kill it? Thirst for Discovery. Draw three cards and discard two unless you discard a basic land. What will they discard? Whoa. Are we playing against zombies? To overcharge them all again. It's rough. On for specimen. Go with that. Environmental sciences. Playing right away. 
So we can play the Brutal Qatar on the next turn. Start to put some pressure on. So we remove tokens. Oh, that doesn't trigger the Stormbind Familiar. Because it's a token. It's not a card put to exile. From the game. Let's try this. Do they have any counter spell? Doesn't look like it. Let's bar up the stone binder familiar. And we all attack. Hit for five. They have a surprise for us, porridge kill. They pay three life anyway. That's fine with me, pretty happy to have put the plus one plus one gunster on the familiar. Oh, I haven't played a land this turn. Okay, I play it. I play it. They're one mana, one land away from being able to powering up the Hall of Storm Giant. Pass. Another land. Let's power up this. It's all attack. Put the plus one plus one on the familiar again. Oh, maybe I should have taken the aspirant. Anyway. Let's go for it. Get a token on the battlefield. Oh. We got a blocker. Bounce back our familiar. Okay. Locking the fire. Fine with that. Can cast the binder again. The familiar. Stone binder. And oh use portable hole on nothing. <laughs> Oops. Good job. Yes. Oops. That was a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can now power up the Hall of Storm Giant. It's not good. So what do we do here? We have eight lands. So if we pay four to power up, we can still play Sigrid. But we cannot target the Hall of Storm Giant. I guess we attack with all. Or do we play this first? We'll need one more. Anyway, let's play this and see if they have a counter spell. It's probably a control deck. They're probably happy to let it go and get me with the Hall of Storm Giant. They're not sure. Sink a bait unless I pay six. Are you crazy? Cannot pay that anyway. Oh, they have exiled one of my creature. <laughs> That's okay. So let's all attack. See what they do. Will they block? Yes, they're blocking. So we exile the other card, Mogam. Oh, it triggers only once per turn. It's a bit sad. It's a bit sad. And we draw land. Let's bar this up. Let's 
see if they block with the Hall of Storm Giant, probably. Probably. Yeah, the Black Bear is dead, they're down to 7. Keep them on 10 to bluff them. Try to cast this. Okay, let it go. Next. Let's boost one goblin. Can we go through? Can we go through? Kill far up. Oh, hold breaker horror. Probably close to death. They're down to four. Can we? Make it. Can we make it? How many spells can they cast right now? In one turn. High Twitch. Bounce back a token. Pretty sad. That's all. We don't attack. Let's try to cast borrowed time. They can probably bounce it back. Looking at the height to which. Not sure. Syncopate. But you bounce now. Yes, Baron. Okay. You cannot pay the five. Can we cast it back? I guess we're dead. Next to combat. Plus one, plus one on our token. Don't see how we can get through this. We have not been fast enough. They bounce a token. It's the beginning of the end. Don't have much of an answer against the Hellbreaker Horror, sadly. Unless they're tapped out. We can remove it, but. Ooh, a big gap. Another land. Uh, attack. Can we hit for two at least? Probably not. Probably not. Memory deluge. What are you bouncing? What are you bouncing? This might be a bit scary. It resolves. If I had a removal, could remove. What? They're countering their memory deluge? Okay. Go with that. They want the. Okay, we're out of here. Can't do much now. They got us. I'll break our horror. Still a monster you don't want to face. And we're nine game game deep now, and only two game we got the familiar. That's crazy. The four copy of it. It won't show up. Playing against white. We are the first with the Louvre and Arcus Pirates. Of. That 
that's a card we can remove. this and hit them for three where him where him what can you do now perfect it's just perfect for me I got another part of a hole and we hit for four cast now, voice of the blast, it's okay, I can kill that again, guess I'll wait for the skyclave apparition, end of the bugbear, they probably won't be happy with that, The deadly dispute. It's perfect. It's just perfect. So we now hit for five. Can our opponent do something? We can kill the angel, the Valkyrie, Lunar Veteran. Kill that. Let's just go here, dig out voice of the bliss. So let's just kill that anyways, we remove it from the game. And on the next turn... Oh, we're good. We are good. So play one, two, three, four, and power this up. Next to combat. Put the plus one plus one on the sky plays apparition. Next to attacker. We have attack. Go to blocker, kill that. They get to bring back the voice of the blessed. Oh, they are not dead. They are not dead yet. One life away. What can they do now? Even a board wipe is not enough since the end of the, the bug bear is in our mana source. Return to target card. Okay, you can. Oh, that's enough. That was a quick one. That's good. That's pretty good. Here we are for the final game. We needed a mulligan. In the first hand, we had zero land, but three spike fail hazard. <laughs> it was really not great. And still no familiar here. Handling guys. We'll remove that right away. Let's play Cemetery Gatekeeper. Removing Spike Fuel Hazard. So if anyone casts an instant speed spell, they will get two damage to their face unless they kill the gatekeeper right away. I don't know if they're playing a lot of instant. Okay, that's all. So that's all attack. The brutal Katargan wait. The vanishing burst will be take two. Let's play the Brutal Qatar anyway. 
If they don't cast anything on their turn again, we'll have a 3-3 three, three first strike. If knights come... Wedding announcement? So on attack. Will they block? We just foretell this. And then the Qatar comes into the night. So we have a 3 3 first strike creature now with Ward, pay 3 life. What you gonna do? Do they attack? Yep. You can have it. We create another token. Okay, we dispute on it. Okay. What is next? Hive of the High Tyrant. We have Demon Bolt for that. Unexpected windfall. Let's attack first and see what they do. We hit for three now. Do they block? Yes. Let's go for unexpected windfall. Discarding portable hole. We got the Mark Spiral, that's great. Do we flip this? I guess so. And a turn. What will they play? They're looking at the Lunar Aspirant. Meat hook massacre, that's sad. Let's take this. Can't do much about it. Blood tight harvester. They create a blood token. Okay, now their creatures are getting bigger. Brutal Qatar. Love that. That's the turn. What are you gonna do? Can you just power up that pipe? Okay, not great. We need to find a way to get rid of the token. Pass, no block. Pass. We'll play this for sure. Now the spike field hazard doesn't do much. Hmm. Let's keep it, we never know. When Marlin doesn't help us much. No attack and turn. Are we stuck here? Can remove the Predator. Sweet, wedding announcement again. Pass to attacker. 
Oh, they will power up our Stormbinder familiar. No. And it's only during our turn. No block. Pass. We're taking a beating. Can we get a borrow time? Skyclave apparition. That's one way to get rid of this. Let's remove the predator. And we power up our bind familiar. That's great. That's all attacked. It can't do much about it. You're thinking about sacking a blood token. The resolves. So attack, they don't have any blockers. Down to 14. There's a problem. Ah, you reek with terror. Ah. We will slay our enemies. Let's kill load right away. Oh, should have waited this round. But I should have waited on our turn. But load is such a pain. We cannot wait. No black. One more token to go. We'll get star. We remove one spider. Feel like we need to kill an oh that doesn't boost the Familiar, it's a token again. Let's kill that. We lose one life. Do we attack? Nope. What can we do now? Their creature will become bigger. We need a good top deck. A really good top deck. And not a meat hook massacre. <laughs> Are we dead? No. no. No, no. Not yet. Close enough. Close enough. I take no joy in this. Let you fight for me now. We can't do much. We're dead. Dead again. That's sad. Pretty sad. Doesn't end well. Does this deck work? I'm not convinced. I've finished this with a 50% win rate. I can tell you that I've not been really lucky. I've had three mulligan on 10 games. I've started with Stormbinder familiar only once in my starting hand on 10 game and that's the key card of the deck That's the reason of the build of the deck and The only game I've started with it. I've started with three copies of it. <laughs> the shuffler is fine. No problem here And I totally wreck my opponent with this hand, but other than that I've I Think I've cast Stormbinder familiar in one other game, but it was already a lost cause a lost cause so that was not great maybe with a better card one game i've i've won one game with the luminarch aspiron i only have two copy maybe having four would be really better 
clearly cemetery gatekeeper doesn't do the job i thought they would do because we don't have a lot of card in graveyard since we exile everything we don't kill nothing <laughs> so that was not a great pick on my part but i think this deck can be pretty cool having a great control but you need the stone binder familiar so if you want to try it i suggest you don't invest a lot of wild cards in that it has some potential if you already have all the rare cards in the deck let's try it give it a try it's a pretty fun deck to play but you really need a stone binder familiar on the battlefield if you want to win some games so that's it for today's video let's see you tomorrow with another one